peace and blessing to you all watching this video. This video is going to be about how uh, Jesus, the Son of God, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, set me free of my porn addiction. I'm going to be making multiple videos on the addictions that I battled with, porn, um, uh, weed addiction, and all those addictions. You know, I make videos on semen retention and no fat, but I feel like I got to tell you guys, I got to give praises to the Son, Jesus Christ, because he set me free. He's the reason why I'm able to make these videos. If it wasn't for him, I'd be still living that lifestyle. And... Um, I want to start this scripture off before I even start this video, man. This is James chapter 4, verse 7 to 8. I wrote it down. So it says, uh, Submit yourself, therefore, to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Draw near to God, and he will draw near to you. Cleanse your hands, ye sinners, and purify your hearts, ye double-minded. Uh, verse 10 says, Humble yourself in the sight of the Lord, and the Lord will lift you up. Okay, so my porn addiction. I w so let's talk about a little how it all started. I was 12 years old. I was in sixth grade. I was like pure, I guess, or innocent. I didn't masturbate, didn't watch porn, didn't do any of that. And I think it was like I was in sixth and seventh grade. One of my friends, he gave me like, um, he was like, hey, do you want this magazine? It was like with naked girls back in there. And uh, I didn't, at first I was like, no, nah, I don't, you know, like I didn't really need it. And then like all my friends were like, oh, you don't do that. They're like laughing at me and stuff like that. It's like, cause I wasn't want to do it. So I, I just took it, you know, like just being a little kid. So I took it. It was in my backpack for weeks. I forgot. And I remember like a week later, I was putting stuff in my backpack. I'm like, oh, shoot. I didn't want my teacher or anyone else to see it because, you know, it's in, I don't, I, I don't, I don't want them to think of something else. Or like maybe I don't want my dad to look at my backpack or something like that or my, think something else. So I remember I was like, oh, shoot, it's in my backpack still. So like a week later, um, I remember I just, I was taking out my backpack and I saw it. No one was home. I was in my bedroom alone. And that's where it all started. And then. So, and I had a PSP uh, for those who know PSP is a PlayStation portable. They don't have it no more Like they don't make it no more, but it's pretty much like a portable PlayStation and that had access to the internet and Back then back in this is like what 2007 I think or 2008 somewhere around that time uh, Wi-Fi wasn't really like it was mostly like wired connection and I had to walk My dad's house. I had to walk to the corner of the street it was probably like maybe like a block away to, just to get internet access and then I'll get internet access and then like I'll go on the websites uh, And then from there that's how it started and I had to because I had no internet connection in my house I had to like save the, the web page and I go back to my house and then that's where it all started so Because one person that's why when I have children I don't think I'm gonna put them in public school because that's how I got programmed to watch porn and from there guys It, it was an everyday addiction for me I'm talking about for over 10 years, 12 years, every single day, multiple times a day, sometimes even four times a day. And that's just draining. That's draining your energy. I was depressed. I had social anxiety. I couldn't look at females in their eyes. I couldn't look at anyone in their eyes. I had no purpose in life. I had no hope. Okay. I didn't know Jesus. Jesus is our only, only hope, man. He's our only hope. I didn't, I had no hope. I was hopeless out here. Uh, suicidal thoughts. I had, uh, bipolar, schizophrenia, mental diseases, which are, for those who don't know, mental health issues especially like bipolar and schizophrenia. Those are all just demonic uh, possession, sorry, demonic possession. I didn't know that at the time. And you know, me giving in to those demonic urges and those demonic thoughts. And that's how, you know, I was able to open those doors for them to attack me, unclean spirits. When you're doing unclean things, you're giving access to the unclean spirits attacking your life. And I didn't know that. So it's been four years since I've been free uh, from porn porn addiction and best believe guys god is not a respecter of persons if he could set me free he could set you free too and that's why this verse that i went over uh it says and I'm, gonna, I'm gonna explain this more it says submit yourself to, uh, submit yourself to god resist the devil and he will flee from you so as god was like speaking to me you know and i wanted to be set free there was also times guys where like i would have sex now i'm married now but when i would fornicate i know that's not right two wrongs don't make a right but i'm just saying one of the reasons why i wanted to stop watching porn when I would actually have sex with a female, like I couldn't stay hard. Um, I would, let's say I would, I couldn't last like more than 20 seconds because I was wasting my sexual energy through porn and masturbating. And I didn't know at the time that it was because of my porn addiction that was causing that. So yeah, that was, you know, not being able to last like a minute or not even be able to get it up or not even be able to go another round. It's because of your porn addiction and God, that's not how us men were designed. Maybe like if you're like you're in your fifties, your sixties, which I even then don't believe that because God has created herbs. So, you know, you should, we should be taking care of our temple and God has herbs like uh, Macaru, Ashwagandha, sea moss to help us our libido issues or if we may be battling with that, our energy and stuff like that. So even then there's still no excuses. 
you know or maybe like if you're like 80 or 90 or something like that you know but if you're in your 20s you know you should not be having that issue and it's the, the reason why you're having that issue is because of porn you know porn and masturbating you're wasting your sexual energy so you're not able to actually do it with your wife okay so um that's one thing that led me to okay this is this porn stuff is just demonic and it's crazy too because the minute i because i tell you guys all the time on my videos whenever you give up a, a demonic addiction you're gonna get attacked Okay, so when I gave up my porn addiction after what I said 12, 13 years of doing it almost every day, almost every day, guys, I don't think I went a week without doing it. I don't, yeah, I don't think I went over a week. So, uh, so that that was how it was, and then I got attacked. The minute I stopped doing it, I had wet dreams. Like I had five wet dreams within two weeks, and that was the devil like getting mad at me because you know the sun was setting me free. And it says that, you know, and when I was having those red dreams, I, I wasn't aware of spiritual warfare. I wasn't aware of, I didn't have much wisdom. I had a little bit of wisdom, but I didn't have much. So I thought that, you know, okay, maybe I'm giving, maybe this is like, God wants me to do this. Like I was deceived, you know, maybe God wants me to watch for him. Okay? Maybe, Cause I'm so, I'm, I'm having wet dreams every day, guys, every day. So I'm like, and, I, and when you're having a wet dream, it's sex with a demonic spirit, sex with, with a succubus. That's what it is, wet dreams. And um, so I was double-minded at the time. And that's what the Bible says. Um, Cleanse your hands, you sinners, and purify your hearts, you double-minded. So I would give in. I would I would still masturbate again. I wouldn't watch porn, but I was still masturbating because I was like, okay, maybe this is God wants me to do this. I was double-minded, you know. And God does not want you. Uh, if you actually look at the word uh, fornication in Greek, it means like uh, 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 like masturbating and porn uh, use or something like that. I saw, one of my Hebrew brothers sent me that. Um, I gotta look at that again. I gotta do more research on that, but I believe that that's also linked to fornicating when you're watching porn and masturbating when you're playing yourself. So God does not want anyone to be doing that. There's no, so I didn't know the word of God back then though, you know? That's why it's important for us to learn, study the word, you know, study to show yourself approved so we could, you know, fight the spiritual warfare and we won't be deceived by, you know, our flesh, what we feel is right. Because if, if God's saying not to do it in the book, in his word, and I'm saying, okay, maybe I should do it, that means I'm deceived. You know, you, you know, the Bible even says, be not deceived, the unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of God. It says over and over again, be not deceived, be not deceived. So the next one, it says, I remember after I gave into the urge, like uh, when God was setting me free, I remember this verse, like God let, lead me to this verse. Guys, and that's why it's important. I'm giving you guys this word right now. So it says, you sinners, it says, cleanse your hands, you sinners. So after I got done, guys, I washed my hands, man. I, I said, God, please forgive me. You know, I, 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 and I knew I sinned. I knew I messed up. And the, the verse 10 says, humble yourself in the sight of the Lord and he shall lift you up. Guys, I've been, it's been four years. I've been free. So that's what we got to do, guys. We got to surrender our life to God full heartedly. Accept the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit will fight against your flesh. The Holy Spirit will warn you. Okay. And also it says to humble yourself. Okay. Be humble. Understand that we are all one sinners. We all fell short of the glory of God, but God has gave us grace. You know, thank thank you uh, for the Son Jesus Christ, the blood of the Christ, the washing from our sin. He has gave us grace, so we could continue fighting, the, doing the will, continue fighting the good fight. And you know, we got to be humble. God, you know, I sin. Please help me. Uh, I repent. You know, I repent of my sins, and I'm trying to you know do the right thing, stay on the narrow path. You know, please have mercy on me, forgive me. Uh, I, I'll do my best not to do it again. You know, because let's be real. Even though I've been free four years, I I've never gave into it. But some people are more weaker, so it's not just because. I go four years, you might go a year and you might give in. You know, you might go two years, you might give in. But I, I personally believe Jesus Christ can set us free. That's my faith, that's my belief system. And, and I'm living proof. I'm pretty sure there's other brothers and sisters who have other testimonies that they've been set free too as well. And it's just important for us, um, body of Christ, to uh, you know, uplift people through the word of God, through our testimony, so we can strengthen people. And let us know there, there's hope, guys, there's hope. Jesus can set you free, he's our only hope, okay? I'm not putting my hope in material possessions. I'm not putting my hope in the money or in this world because this world is passing away and the lust thereof. But he who does the will of God, they shall abide forever. So Jesus is our only hope, our Lord and Savior. And uh, that's the message for this video, guys. Uh, he set me free from my porn addiction. He will set you free from your porn addiction. Guys, the Bible says in Proverbs chapter 18, verse 21, it says, um, the, the power of the tongue. Uh, and those who love it shall eat the fruits thereof. So you want to speak this to life. God is setting me free from my porn addiction. I am becoming free from my porn addiction. Um, I'm breaking free from the strongholds. That's what, when you're watching porn, guys, you got to understand. 50% of the warfare when it comes to watching porn is understanding that it's a stronghold. Once you understand it's a demonic stronghold causing you to do that, it's an unclean spirit causing you to do that, you already have 50%, uh, you already 50 already won the war. A lot of people who have porn addiction, they don't even understand it's a demonic stronghold in their mind that's causing them to give into it. Okay. The Bible even says in uh, 1 Corinthians uh, chapter, or 2 Corinthians chapter 10, 
verse 13 to 15 or something. I, I, I don't, I'll put that, I'll leave that verse in the description. I'll put it in the comments. So it says that um, our weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through pulling the strongholds of God. So that's what it is. That's what the porn addiction is, guys. It's a, it's a stronghold through your mind. Like I said, that stronghold came in my life at a young age, and I was dealing with that for what? 12 or 13 years, guys. 12, 13 years I was given. So that means that it was a strong stronghold. Built many, many that's why I was getting attacked constantly, constantly. The, the longer you have a stronghold on something, guys, the harder the attacks is. Okay, whether it's like a drug addiction, a porn addiction, um, uh, any type of lust addiction, any type of addictions you have, demonic addictions you have, understand that the longer you have it for, the stronger the, the, the stronger the stronghold is. That's why it's the harder it is to break free. Okay, so that's what, it, what it's about. It's just, once you realize it's a stronghold in your mind. Once you understand that it's an unclean spirit using your vessel to get you to be a more unclean, you already won the war. Okay, that's no, I'm sorry, you're 50% of winning the war. The other 50% is submitting yourself to God, understanding that you need a savior. Uh, you need a king, you need a Lord, or you need Jesus, man. That's 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 who you need. You know, Yeshua, the Hebrew name too, you know, different language, same name. Okay, you need him, you need the son, the son of God, um, you know. What he did on the cross, the blood, that's what we need. The, the blood, that's what we need, guys. And like I said, there's days where I, I so far short, not, not through porn addiction, but through other sins. And that's what, that's what my hope is. My, my hope is in him and the spirit which strengthens me, quickens me, and uh, to do the will. That's what it's all about. And when you when you notice, when you give up your lust addiction, you're going to become more strong, stronger in the spirit. Okay. The Bible says a wise man is strong. Yea, a man who gains knowledge increases strength. That's in the book of Proverbs. So understand that. You're gonna become more strong when you give up your lust. When you're no longer intrigued by the Jezebel, the succubus, or you're no longer feeding into the demonic urges through porn, you're now becoming a stronger man. You're now becoming stronger in the spirit, and you're and because of that, you're now being able. You could be more easier used by God to do the will, you know, to do mighty works. Because lust, that's gonna lead us in darkness, man. Fornicating, watching porn, masturbating all the time, that's gonna lead you in darkness, a dark path, you know, a path that's not good and. Uh, you know, he who commits fornication is sinning against in his own body. So when you're watching porn, masturbating, or fornicating, having sex before marriage, you're sinning against your own body. That's one of the worst things you can commit. You know, so that's what we have to do, man. We gotta, we need Jesus. That's what this video is all about, giving him the praise. Because, and then all praise to the Most High too, the, the God of Israel, uh, the Father and the Son. And that's how we can be set free from these demonic addictions. And you can never go back to it again. And it's all through God, the mighty God. And uh, yeah, man, that's all it's about. And uh, there's one little quick thing I want to I say to you before I end this is that once you understand this, I'm telling you guys, once you understand this is a stronghold in your mind, you, you won the war, man. And then now, you, of course, you got to submit yourself and kind of humble yourself. Understand that you need a savior. You need Jesus. That's, that's, that's all a form of humbling yourself, that you need a savior. You need Jesus. Okay. He's our, like I said, he's our only hope. In this life we live in today, he's our only hope. So that's the message for this today. He set me free from my uh, porn addiction. And we've also been making free how he set me free from my a drug addiction too. And and it's crazy because once let's say if you go back to it, you're gonna realize like, wow, I've been set free. There's no need for me to do it again. You you'll know. That's how you know it's Jesus that set you free. So that's why I give him all praises, all glory, the most high God of Israel. And uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, like the video. I'm out. God bless you, peace.